welcome back to another video where we ask ourselves, is British food wonderful, worthy of four stars? Uh, uh, asterix, 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 asterix. <laughs> Are we going to do it properly this time? We found a wonderful regional dish. All you guys got to do is work out what it is and how to cook it. I can't wait. I've got PTSD from the last time we did this. Yeah, we, we not we, from not from making it, but from the comments afterwards. We did British food a favour, but we didn't do ourselves any. This is from a very regional county in the UK. Interesting. Okay. So we have bacon lardons, suet, suet, egg, sage, water, water, flour. We haven't got a lot. Pepper, mustard, potatoes, onions. Interesting. We're making a pie, Evers. Or a pasty. Yep. Boys. Yeah. We would like you to cook a Buckinghamshire bacon badger. I love this country so <laughs> <Yeah>. much. <laughs> bacon badger. Right, so Buckinghamshire isn't far from where we grew up. No, it's not. But have you ever heard of nope. a bacon badger? I've been to Milton Keynes quite a few times. I've never had a bacon <laughs> badger. The city of Buckinghamshire is indeed Milton Keynes, known for many, many wonders. Roundabouts. <laughs> uh, ski slope. Ski slope. Ski slope. So, uh, Formula One. Formula One. Lots of lots Formula, of Formula one. one teams. And it's uh, it's essentially a city that was built based on American cities. It's on a grid. <laughs> Basically, we know too much about Milton Keynes. <laughs> but nothing about a bacon badger. Double checking. There's definitely no badger involved. Bacon is the meat. There is no badger. Right. Okay. I'm going to give you the recipe in a few simple steps. Step one: make the pastry. To slightly confuse things, um, eggs, they tend to roll around and move. So I placed it on the suet to stop it rolling around and moving. It doesn't mean it's necessarily required for the pastry. Egg wash. Egg wash. Now, ratios wise, have you been kind to us? Fairly. Okay, cool. Dry stuff's weighed out, wet stuff's weighed out. There's one thing I know about pastry, it's wet and it's dry. And one thing we know about great British food is that suet crops up in an awful lot of sweet and savoury dishes. It's basically beef fat with a pretty long shelf life. It's very, very cheap and highly nutritious. Do we need this bit of flour? No. No, fine. What texture are you looking for? It's got to be pliable because you're gonna have, we're going to have to shape it somehow. It's either going to be going into balls, like dumplings, yeah. or it's going to be encasing something. Not dissimilar to the texture of a scone batter. Okay. Ooh, it's quite oh, okay. So not yeah. tacky. No. We've done our research and we're not entirely sure why it's called a bacon badger, but there are a few theories. You get um, the stripe. The stripe, yeah. Stripes. Yeah. Because you get badger haircuts, don't you, when you're greying and then you see the dye on top. Yes, which yeah. you, yours might be coming through soon. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the kitchen, I feel like it's a combination of badger and salt and pepper. Yeah. <laughs> They're a nuisance. To some people. The farmers. The farmers. TB. They carry TB. They carry TB, yeah. Does this? No. No. They dig holes. But, yep. Um, right, you can leave that to one side and come back to that. Okay. While you make your filling. They live in sets. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at this. Knowledge, yeah. Milton Keynes and badgers. Who knew that's your <laughs> expertise? <laughs> Right, let's leave that over there for a sec. Okay. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. So yeah, the thing with the UK, and we had a lot of comments before uh, from US uh, viewers. Obviously, in the US you have multiple, multiple states that make up the country. We have multiple, multiple counties. Mm. Next instruction, make your filling. I'm gonna give you a clue. It all ends up a similar chop size to the bacon. And you might wanna give your bacon a head start by frying it off. Gotcha, yes, chef. This is very simple. Some of the best foods are. Now, I think this is probably quite a generous version of this dish, because that's a lot of bacon. But this was a dish that whilst it existed before the war, it became popularized in the war when there was a ration on things like bacon and therefore potato and onion and suet would bulk it out into mm. quite a filling, I'm not going to say stodgy, but filling dish with a little bit of bacon. It is a more northern version than a Cornish pasty. Middle a, England. A Buckinghamshire pasty. Buckinghamshire pasty. Middle England. It's Middle Sounds England. Like it should be Definitely not Middle England. 
It's Definitely more, not Middle England. It's more, it's, north, it's more north than Cornwall. Yes, but lots of places, everywhere else in England is. Yeah, I, I so you know, you can't exactly. just call it Middle England. But it's not north, is it? It's not south. It is south. Is Milton Keynes south? Yes. So, is there anything about this dish that centres it in Buckinghamshire? Like, is it because anything's particularly grown there, or...? I don't know why this was so iconic in Buckinghamshire, but Buckinghamshire is next to Bedfordshire, and there is a similar dish, not to be confused, which is called the Bedford Clanger. Oh, see, I feel like I've heard of a Bedford Clanger. 40% of all of the London underground stops that sit outside of the M25 are in that county. No way! Yeah. yeah fun fact. Metline. No, not that <laughs> <laughs> I think understanding regional food is really important when you look at a nation's food because we often say, oh, we're having Indian food or we're having Chinese food mm -hmm. or we're having Italian food and those are so phenomenally regional. Mm. Why don't we think the same when we think British food? <laughs> How wrong can we get the Buckinghamshire bacon badger? I've seen a few recipes and there seems to be two ways of cooking it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Once you get your finished product, you can steam it or you can bake it. Ooh! We're going to bake it, so you might want to preheat an oven to about 190. A baked badger. So for those of you at home who are looking at us going, you don't bake a Buckinghamshire bacon badger, we know that you can also steam it, but we are baking it. Most of the recipes we found, which are more recent online, were baked, but some of the original ones were steamed, so you can go either way. Steaming takes about three hours, Baking takes about an hour. Which one do you think we're going to do? Right. This is being right, done for okay. efficiency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the usual eating scenario for a Buckinghamshire Yeah, bacon is it on the go or we see it sitting down? No, I think this is a family style dish. There might be some oh, okay. veg on the side. Uh, often served with a dollop of mustard, which is why we've given you a jar, but it could also have a sort of saucy gravy thing going on. It's put in the middle of the table and sliced up. And the slicing of it, gives you potential stripes, which might imply badger. Might, right, might. Combine your potato, onion, fried bacon, sage, salt and pepper in a bowl. So remember when I said, try and cut your fillings to the same size as the bacon lard on? Yep. How's that looking, Baz? They're smaller when you get up close. Okay. Oh, they've shrunk in the, they've shrunk in the pan. That's what's happened. That's what has happened, yeah. yeah. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? This is more what I'd associate with the British Isles, though. This type of food. The Parmo did catch me by surprise a little bit. You think in centuries gone by, the sign of great hospitality and wealth was putting on an absolute feast. So whole uh, hams and boars and capons and turkeys, roast beef, and a huge, great big feast of a spread. And then came along like haute cuisine from France, which was more about having different courses and having stuff plated and perfect. And I feel like we still have the reputation of the big roast meats and meat and two veg basics. That's what most families in the UK still rely on most weekends. That's potentially the only time that families get around the table together, isn't it? It's smelling simple, but it's smelling good. Regional dishes have lots of different versions because every family has their own way yep. of doing things. Some families put tomato sauce on a palmo. Let it go, Jay, let it go. Do you want to know another? Buckinghamshire fact. A badger fact. A badger, a badger fact. fact. So we've said that it might be called a bacon badger because when you slice it later on, you have kind of stripes in it. But it might also be called a badger because a badger was someone who used to trade. That's a barter. Specifically flour. Ooh. Oh, okay. Is that the same as badgering so Like, Is that where well, you you're badgering the someone? Badgering someone. Badger yeah, you. stop badgering me. Leave me alone, Evers. He doesn't ba know. Ba he's, ba he's to, it to badger he's someone is to bother up. someone? He, he, or doesn't, to... he doesn't know. What? Origin of the phrase to badger someone. Oh dear. You're <laughs> not, not Urban Dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that might mean. A sense of satisfaction having found the answer. That was just the badger, that was. Just the badger. Just, you know, I've got it. Got it. That's just like done just the job. He's badgered it. He's, ba hit, he's, he's only got a badgered it. <laughs> that hit the spot. It's like that was the right badgering, that. <laughs> oh, thank you. That no, was such on, a good badger. That. <laughs> That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> so here's the thing you might recognise more a jam roly poly. 
Yes, yeah, classic. Absolutely. Why are we doing that? Because we're doing a bacon badger. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to roly poly it though. Is we're that, not what, gonna roly -poly is that what you do? You roly poly it. Suet pastry. Yeah. yeah. Filling. Yeah. yeah. Roll it up. No yes. way. We're making a badger roly poly. Badger roly poly. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. How thick are we looking? You certainly don't want your chunky potato to poke through a thin pastry. Are we not serving this with mashed potato? No, the potato, a bit like a pasty, <laughs> the potato's inside. If there's one thing badgers love is mashed potato. Mashed potato. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Not like bodger. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's, that right. is a toy. That is a throwback. How many people remember bodger and badger? Cut it to... Shape and then roll, or do you think just leave rough edges? Rough and ready and then shape it at the end. Remember, this is a dish that came out of austerity and therefore you wouldn't want to waste anything. You wouldn't anything. be throwing it away. I kind of want to throw some apple sauce at this now. Don't, do, do, you know what I mean? why, why don't you throw a tomato sauce at it? I wouldn't do that. No? So this end is thinner. So do you want to start at this end? Oh, that does, that is yeah. quite. Yeah. Not... Okay, let's get some egg wash in there. Egg wash. A bit more sticky. Mm. What are you doing? <coughs> Interesting. Eggy glue. Tuck in. Tuck it in on itself. You want it sealed in so that the potato inside is cooking in its own kind of sealed oven. It looks good. You season the filling quite nicely. I think you might have forgot salt in the pastry, but... 190 degrees for about an hour. Tender badger every time. <laughs> That's impressive. An hour in the oven and it didn't leak. No! Suet pastry is phenomenal, baked or steamed. You're always going to have a bit of a nuggety end. See what happens. If I bake in it, you've got a crispy outside, but it's steamed the inside. And the suet is soft in the middle. Oh, yes. I'm not picking up on the stripes, Ebers. Layers. <laughs> yeah, but... I mean, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying a badger is a zebra. Right. Lovely. Dollop of mustard on the side, and we are done. Oh, Baz. That might be a Buckinghamshire bacon <laughs> badger. <laughs> Should we get in the sexies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, in front of you is something rather special. Lift cloche A. Here we go. Okay. Very regional British delight. <laughs> You've done a mustard smear. Like, that is so bad. <laughs> it needed a flourish. <laughs> okay. So we've got some pastry, we've got some bacon. Hang on, it's got a Swiss roll shape. <laughs> it's a British roll. This is from Buckinghamshire, and it's called a bacon badger. Great. <laughs> I love it. And if you want to lift cloche B, you can see what the whole thing was before we sliced it. Oh, great. It's like a Wellington, but a badger, a mustard schmear. Now we've seen how well it's sliced, we think perfect yeah. picnic attire. Yeah. That tastes amazing. It's like got the texture of stuffing yeah. when you yeah. bite into it. The outside nice and golden with an egg wash, the inside is kind of steamed. So you've got mashed potato meets steamed suet. Mm. with bacon and sage. I was going to say, outside of just the bacon flavour, it tastes really meaty in, inside, and I guess that's, a, that's the suet. Have you ever had a bacon badger, or from neighbouring Bedford, a clanger before? Never, and that's what I love about this, is that in the aisles in which I live, there is some really weird food. And I'm glad I've had it, and I think you need to get in here and try some of your yes. creation. There you go, lads. Thank you very much. Either side. Uh, aside from like 45 to 50 or maybe an hour in the oven of passive cooking, really easy to do. Mm. Mm. Cheap ingredients. In keeping with the format, I have to rate this out of four stars, don't I? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give this three. I think it, this is a proper British dish. It's very British in ingredients. It's British in name. I think it tastes cool. I mean, that's strong. Well done, boys. Yeah. Stick to what's good. It turns out wartime fair should be brought back. Well, let us know. Did we do well? Did we get it right? <laughs> what, 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 what? 
I think we're currently living in a cost of living crisis where actually ingredients that are close to home have a really uh, responsible outlook. Potatoes are one of the most sustainable ingredients. I think bring back a few wartime classics. Good. I'm glad that uh, for your sake I gave you the opportunity to clarify what you were talking about. I like about. it so much I think we're going to write it as a hero recipe and put it on Psychic. Oh, that's a great idea. Definitely go and get that and try it for yourself because it is great and I assume it's quite easy because you didn't nause it up. Mm. Also, comment down below, let us know which other British classics should we be reviving? I missed what you said. So I'm confused. He said something about he loves war. He said bring, bring back. back wartime <laughs> because the food's good. Right, <laughs> <laughs>